Hello everyone, I want to show you what you can do with the first free module of PHP SEO. Okay, I'm calling it in Spanish because my English is very bad, like you are noticing. So, if you heard PHP SEO, I'm referring to, to the name of the tool. Um, I prepared some, some samples to, to show you what you can do with some practical uses of, of this tool. So let's, let's begin. We can put here a keyword and we will search that in the Google results. And we can also use a footprint. And the footprint, uh, you can see here some default ones. So you can easily remember the Google commands like site, in text, all in text and that uh, we are looking on the first like here uh, we are we will collect social network users for networking for social marketing uh, we are extracting uh, facebook twitter and instagram profiles from the keyword motor okay you can use any keyword that you want i use in this one and uh, you can write here your own footprint or you can choose from from the default one so I'm trying now to find let's find Facebook groups with the keyword motor I'm not changing the number of results is 100 the default one so is that's a lot of already so let's search and let's see the results okay so here you will see the, the first 100 results from, from Google that refer to, to this footprint. Okay, we can see it here, here, here. And also uh, related to, to motor. Uh, you can use this for whatever you what you are planning to do. Uh, the next chapters or the next videos I will show you more tools that you can use the, this keyword, this URLs, this source URLs to, to make more actions, to extract content from them and use the, the other modules, the other modules of the tool. So here are the Facebook profile sample. Let's, we could also find not, not Twitter users because Twitter doesn't have a footprint for the users, but we can find Twitter footprints. Okay, is this footprint Twitter status? I mean, sorry. <laughs> So here we can try the same motor site twitter.com in URL status. This is all the default search too. We search again, and here we should obtain the first 100 Twitter results containing the motor keyword. Here it is. Okay. We are choosing United States as country. Probably your IP address from the, or your location will make the result change because Google changes it nowadays. But you could play with other with other countries here to get profiles linked to to a different country. And finally, we could also find Instagram users or whatever users or whatever URLs that you are looking for by a footprint. Let's try Instagram post by the motor keyword. I search again. And we will obtain here the, the, the list again with a lot of Instagram status or a lot of Instagram sorry posts um, as a gray hat example this will be white car or Khalid well, like you prefer uh, as a gray hat example we call use these profiles to extract emails from them for example Twitter or Instagram or maybe YouTube in the in some of their tabs they have info with the email of the, of the user that they, we can contact or we, that we can extract to contact them later so you will see that in, in this video with the data extractor we we call achieve this we will use these URLs in the data extractor and we can extract the, the image there we can extract almost anything so the last sample will be the black hat example okay we will call use this to extract a, a lot of URLs from any site from any new site from any media site and we call the stale the, the content automatically that that will also require two two steps we are only doing the first step now that is like looking for for this so if we use this sorry this footprint i write this or i can also take from this i think the, the yahoo news 
is like here okay it's also the default one we call do the same take the for the keyboard motor but press search again and we will now extract a lot of urls from from yahoo news that are related to to motor or keyword we are working uh, here you will use this again in the data extractor and you could extract all, all the content from this article so maybe you can translate it later or you can use it later in any new blog and finally only to, to uh, tell you about these little buttons from from the bottom is like remove duplicate will remove all the URLs that are with more than one coincidence this will allow you to, we to download all the URLs here in a text file uh, select all the things here we will string to the mine okay we will get like the the main path of the URL, the base path, base path of the URL, containing will delete anything containing any keyword, okay, if you, we get for example this word, we can delete all the URLs containing this word and you see that some URLs were deleted now or not containing, maybe we want only URLs containing motor, so we delete all the URLs no, not containing motor, and um, that, that allow us to, to clean this, this list a little. So this is all about the URL scapper. I apologize again for, again from my English. I'm really trying to remember it or to recover it a little because I don't practice it a lot. So if you understand anything from what I just said and if you want me to make more videos about the, the rest of the modules from PHP SEO, SEO or PHP SEO, uh, just tell me in the comments. Don't hate me too much. And I see you in the next video. Thank you very much. I hope you subscribe if you like it. Bye bye. See you.